Okay, so this is Schneider's Acti9 Isobar P new fuse board. Now, the idea behind this is the few, what they're quoting as time-saving elements. So the first one is that the RCBOs for this fuse board don't have the functional earth, the white lead, and the blue neutral uh, conductor lead. The idea is that when you plug it in, the neutral and the functional earth is built into this main rail here on the on the center of the panel, so you don't have those fly leads anymore, which I get that should, in theory, save quite a lot of time. So we're gonna put that to the test a little later, but one of the other things, I'm just gonna show you now, they've also got, I'm not gonna use it here, but they did send me one just to demonstrate what it looks like. They've got these little wally power tags, these little things here. Now, the idea behind these, I thought this was quite neat. Um, I know that Paul Meenan, a guy who was uh, also doing a review on this, he uses these on Crossrail and stuff quite a lot. Really, really clever. You put your RCBO in or whatever, and you put this over the conductor which goes into the MCB or whatever it is. Um, and it basically, it feeds back data on that circuit to a computer or wherever, and it just gives you all the stats for the circuit, how much load you're pulling, any issues, problems. Uh, and it's all done through Wi-Fi. So I do quite like the idea of that. I'm not going to use it here, but I think that's a really neat idea. Certainly if you've got large commercial situations and stuff and you want to know how much load and all that sort of stuff that you're pulling, good handy bit of kit. I like it. Right, it's not, to be fair, there's not actually a lot of point in me talking about this. I might as well just fit it and we'll see how we get on. Right, first observation. Not that it's a, a negative criticism, but it is a behemoth of a thing. It is heavy, but it is, that said, it's well made and it feels well made, you know? You know, and you just, you pick something up and use it, it just feels solid. So, a good shout I'd say. It does feel very well made, it's substantial. Okay, one thing I have noticed is that they've left a 40 mil cutout for a gland underneath, which is really nice, because on some of them, on some of the, uh, I should put on the more budget conscientious brands. I have noticed they only leave a 30, they only leave a 32 mil cutout on some of them, which I don't understand how they think you can get three phases of neutral through a 32 mil cutout. So it's nice to see they've, they've put a larger cutout hole in, which is nice. Okay. So upsides, let's talk about those first. Um, the first thing I like is, um, other than the, it's got a good, you know, it is substantial, but I do like the breakers. They click into this rail really well. It's just got a nice solid chunky click. Um, and on the back of the RCBOs, you've got the le yellow lever hook and it's again, big chunky. It's just, it's been thought through. It's, this isn't a product that's been just someone behind a desk with a load of biros here has just designed it and just produced it. They've designed it and this, this is, but you can just tell by the way it's been put together. The design of it was thought through. They've taken it out on site, tested it, made, made amendments, and this is the end result. And you can tell that just by the way it all, everything just, it works if that makes any sense. And I like that because it means that they've, this has been site tested before they produced it, which is nice. Okay, so about halfway through this fuse board now, and I'll just give you a quick rundown just to summarize how it's, got, how it's been so far. First thing I like is the isolation tabs. I think a, that's a really, really smart idea, and a big hats off to Schneider for thinking of that. These little isolation tabs, which you pull them across to activate the buzz bar. I think that's a really smart, safe idea. Other things I like is the RCBOs and MCBs are a doddle to click into place, and they're just as easy to take out good time saving idea. The bottom surface of the fuse board's got the pre-made knockout, but the sides and the top, they left blank. So you can configure it to what you want it to be. That was something I liked. Uh, these power tags, that was another thing. I'm not using these power tags on this installation, but it just shows that Schneider are trying to think about you know, bigger consumers and the power requirements and stuff that they've got. Um, I do like that. Obviously we're not using it here. Um, and finally, I think it's just, they've, they've thought about it and they've just, it's not something that's just been designed behind a desk and they've just released it. That was, you know, they've planned it, taken it to site, fitted it, realized there's errors, taken it back, redesigned it, and this is the end result. So they have put, a, you know, they've put a lot of thought into it and it shows when you install it because it is, it's a really easy board to fit. So I'd say that's a bloody good job, Schneider. What well up?